Hey, it's Pete, and welcome back to Question Christ. And today I want to start part two of my series, Why Religious, the Bill Maher Movie, is Ridiculous. Now, in his movie, Mr. Maher makes the claim that Jesus' story is not unique. In fact, it bears an eerie resemblance to other stories of other gods throughout ancient history. In other words, Jesus was a copycat of previous god myths, and therefore cannot be taken seriously. The purpose of the next three videos I'm going to make in this series is to show you the theories that Mr. Marr is peddling as fact in his movie have been clearly discredited by scholars on all sides of the argument and are at the best unreliable. So let's get started with the first god that Marr brings up, the god of Krishna. Marr makes the claim that Krishna was born of a virgin, was a carpenter, and was also baptized in a river. These theories are from the work of Kersey Graves, who is a 19th century writer who wrote a book called The World's 16 Crucified Saviors. Now, Graves' work has been discredited for many years. One of his chief critics is a man by the name of Richard Carrier. Now, Richard Carrier is not a right-wing evangelical apologist. Rather, Mr. Carrier is a noted historian, but more importantly, he is an atheist philosopher who himself doubts the historicity of Jesus. Now, I obviously don't agree with his findings on Jesus, but I find it interesting that Carrier, who believes in the thought of Christianity as a myth himself, like Graves did, totally discredits Graves' work. You can see a stinging critique of Graves' writing by clicking on the link provided, wherever that link is. <laughs> but specifically about Graves' work on Krishna, Carrier states the following, quote, Almost all his sources on Krishna long post-date Christian Nestorian influence on India. No pre-Christian texts on Krishna contain the details crucial to his case, apart from those few that were common among many gods everywhere. Can you tell from graves which details are attested by early evidence and which by late? That's a problem. Carrier is clearly saying that these Krishna stories that have Jesus overtones could very well have come into being after Christianity's influence had reached India. He even says that there are no pre-Christian texts on Krishna with this information in them. Kersey Graves' theories have been so discredited that even Brian Fleming, the director of the atheistic masterpiece The God Who Wasn't There, tried to distance himself from Graves' work when there was a question if Graves' work had influenced his film. In an interview with the Rational Response Squad, which is an atheist organization, Fleming said this, quote, I do have to clear up this whole, you know, I wish that I hadn't used a word that was, that's associated with Cursey Graves anywhere in the movie, because there aren't any ideas associated with Cursey Graves anywhere in the movie. And Richard Carrier, early on in my research, actually steered me away and said, don't, you know, he cheated. He's not anybody to rely on. Now, I don't agree with atheists on it many things, but I am happy that we agree on these two important points. I also tried to find any reference to Krishna as a carpenter, born of a virgin, or baptized in a river, and I couldn't find anything. I checked historical Hindu sites, and there was never mention of any of these stories. In fact, the stories that I found were actually quite different than the ones presented in Mr. Marr's movie. I think what I found could best be summarized on a Hindu blog uh, that slams Mar in the movie for making false claims about Krishna. Nothing to do about Jesus, but they're upset at how Krishna is misrepresented in the movie. Uh, one of the posters wrote these, the following statement. Lie number one. Krishna was born of a virgin birth. False. Krishna was the eighth child had by his parents Devaki and Vasudev. So it is impossible that Krishna's mother was a virgin when she had Krishna. There was no mention of him having a virgin birth by the only text that accounts for his life, the Bhagavad Gita. Lie number two, Krishna was a carpenter. False. Krishna was not a carpenter, neither was his father, who was a statesman. Krishna became a prince and fought for the kingdom with the Pandavas, but did not participate in the war as a soldier, but rather as a chariot driver. Lie number three, Krishna was baptized. False. Krishna was not baptized in a river, rather was carried across the river by his dad, Vasudev, across the river Yamuna to Vandervan as a safe haven for Krishna. The poster continues. 
It is very disappointing that Bill Maher would lie about something like this. It is most likely that he was prepped up with this information and he never did any research to the quote unquote supposed facts in this movie. So to summarize, Mr. Maher has presented theories from a 19th century writer. These theories have been discredited by 21st century atheists, not just Christians, but atheists. Theories that make no appearance in the historic Hindu tradition and that are called lies by Hindus who worship Krishna. Now that all sounds pretty shaky to me. But yet Mr. Marr presents this as fact in his movie. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. I'm going to make another video. Uh, again, there will be three videos that I'm going to be going through uh, talking about the gods that, that uh, Marr talks about. Uh, it will be a couple weeks before I post the next one. I'm going on vacation. I hope you guys are having a great summer. And uh, I'll be talking to you soon. Until next time, thanks.